we started doing research, we found that um, as South Africans were the first people ever to put up fog nets in Marib's Kloof. In actual fact, the first research started on Table Mountain in 1901. So we are really the father and mother of fog research in the world. If you observe the net closely, you see it's a, wove, a, wo a weave of stainless steel and nylon with fairly large holes to allow the wind passage. And the small water droplets that's carried with the wind collides with this mesh. And when they collide against it, they drip down, they drip down and into the gutter. And when they're in the gutter, the gutter flows, takes it down to our filters in the end against the pole and it gets filtered and then it goes down to the main storage tank. This idea was introduced to us as a council by the executive mayor, Chichi Mpumza. And uh, we fell in love with it because we have got a problem, serious problem of water in this area. Uh, you know that the government has made promises in terms of providing water. And as third layer of government, that responsibility lies with us. But we don't have good infrastructure on the ground to make sure that the running water in our rivers is turned into healthy drinking water to the communities. So there came this idea and then we felt we should uh, embrace it. Uh, Lana, the system can go get figure a purpose would in time in Sia Temba, Eona Ezosa, no chin to all right up community less away. Sia Bulela, we had friends from Municipality, who by organize the system, who by the use of figure up up a bantry. And in a band to stand Babanga, Banga Moshi, Yonka Land Wens, we pire by respecting one and Fela. Bank A B, a country B side of Panje, just passes up here, a man's a right, a man's a clean, a man's a nitty The water comes directly from clouds, this is pure as rainwater. And it never touches the ground because it's caught by the net straight in the gutter, straight into the storage facility. The water is as pure as you can get. really going to change the people's lives here because the people here don't have uh, water in their yards and they have to go and fetch water from far so now we're going to gravitate water and bring water to at least uh, 200 meters from each household and that is going to change the people's lives it's a simple system it works without electricity. It hasn't really got breakable parts. It's not as if parts are going to be stolen. And by handing it over to the community, making it community property, it's up to them to maintain it and look after it. But there are no fancy tricks. There's no electricity. There's no, it's not difficult. And Johan has trained people to look after it, to know how to maintain it. And we're basically a telephone call away.